Hi, Gemini. These messages are for December 2nd through December 9th, 2023. I'll never DM you. I'll never solicit you. I will never ask for money. Be sure to follow my Etsy shop if you want to book a private reading through me. And also know that I'm on Facebook, I'm on Instagram, I'm on TikTok, and I'm on YouTube. So let's get into this reading for you. This is going to be what energy is around you. What do you need to know? So we have cornucopia. Look at that. If you've been seeing 1111 Gemini, know that your wishes can definitely come true and you can definitely manifest. So that might be your sign. All right. So this is in the past. I feel like there's so much frustration with you with money, delays, like, you know, effort denied, obstacles, not having enough, maybe being like um, fearful of the future and having enough to live, uh, being, you know, scared, you know, feeling like drained, feeling like, you know, nothing's going your way. You might have been like losing money somewhere. So I feel like this is like a turnaround for that. So um, if you've applied for anything recently, you can you can count on it coming. Um, more money coming, like with your job, like a raise. This could be a new job opportunity altogether. It could be a promotion. But this is definitely like wishes granted. Like things that you've been wishing for or wanting can manifest and come true. Um, you know, this is you feeling like more satisfied, feeling more grateful for what you already have and what you could have. This is knowing that all your hard work and all the time that you've put in can and will pay off. You know, you deserve rewards too, Gemini, just like anyone else. But yeah, this is definitely like success coming, rewards coming, um, you know, more money, job fulfillment. Um, for some of you, this could be romantic love a partner or a person that you've always wished for or always wanted or, you know, uh, like that type of energy. Um, because I feel like in the past you felt very discouraged and disheartened and, you know, like obstacles really got in your way and, you know, stopped you from pursuing what you wanted or stopped you from having peace. So I feel like this is a time for you to be more abundant to count your blessings, to know that you could receive more blessings because you do deserve them and you have struggled. But it's also like a mindset change, okay? You have to realize that the universe is abundant and that, you know, you are blessed and things always come in the right time. So be open, be flexible, be aware, know that there's many roads to happiness and know that sometimes, you know, it might just be a period of loss or a, a period of lack, um, but you can't let it become a cycle. And it looks like you are not letting it become a cycle based on this card here. Okay. Um, this is like a radical shift that's coming and things that are coming to you are all good things, okay? Better things, better circumstances, better situations. All right, what, what else do we need to know? So yeah, we have the devil. Now, to me, this says, because you have cornucopia, the devil, to me, in this reading is like, don't doubt. Don't think bad things. Don't go back to those old ways of thinking. Get rid of those old obsessions. Get out of your head. Don't let these negative forces that are all consuming consume you okay don't let them pull you back don't let them restrain you okay this is like negative energy that always seems to try to come for you or get to you or oppress you this is like obsessions this is different like behaviors that you might fall into so you know we're being told here to not fall into those and i do feel like with the five of swords, this is like defeat. You feel defeated. You feel lost. You feel like, you know, you're at a battle of wits maybe with somebody or you've been treated unfairly or you've suffered humiliation or, you know, maybe you feel like you're in a no-win situation. It could be a person. It could be, you know, a, a situation where this person maybe makes you feel like a victim of their ego or they always need to win or they are bullying in some way. But this is like, you know, you accept them kind of for who they are. You make the boundaries that you need to make and know that, you know, this situation will pass and you can heal yourself. You can move on from, you know, the past rather than dwelling on it. You can maybe accept this person for who they are, but keep the boundaries, like I said, and try to find alternatives um, and different routes. 
that will bring you the peace, love, and justice that you deserve. Check back next week.